Hi, my name is Martin and I work at Coldwood. I'm the creative director there, uh, working on Unravel. Where did the idea come from for Unravel? Uh, it was born out of a song lyric, actually. Um, uh, just something that kind of popped into my head when I was writing. Uh, it's called, uh, the song lyric goes something like, while you're away, my heart comes undone and slowly unravels in a ball of yarn. And that image sort of stuck with me. And you know, I, I figured that sounded so much like a game character. So I, I decided to turn it into a game character. So the main game character is Jarni. Talk a little about that aspect of this game and what it's all about. Well, basically the whole idea is that you're made of yarn and you unravel as you go and that sort of gives you a certain, I, I guess you could say like powers, abilities, because you can also use that yarn to do things like you can climb on it, you can build bridges from it or swing on it and attach it to things, so it kind of gives you a whole new moveset. It's, it's a puzzle-based uh, puzzle platform, platformer, so you have all like the basic stuff like pulling and pushing and jumping and running and all that stuff, but then you also have that layer of yarn adding a other like new layer of complexity to it. So that's fun. It's also physics space. What does that open up for gameplay? Chaos. <laughs> no, but, but really, like the whole unpredictability, the ability to solve puzzles in different ways and just like have fun with things. Like everything responds and behaves in a way that you'd expect it to. So you can kind of like just play with it, have fun with it. Now the backgrounds are very natural, uh, very beautiful. Talk a little about the inspiration from that standpoint coming from Sweden. Uh, I just kind of I felt like I wanted to show off the stuff that I have around me, like the, you know, the beauties that the beauties that out, outside your door, just waiting for you to discover it. Because I think that's something you don't really see in games that much. You see tend to see things that are more like fantastical and out there, and just you know, these louder things and. I just, I guess I kind of just wanted to remind people that there's a lot of nice stuff just out there, you know, waiting for you to discover it, so. So we, yeah. Sure. You, also, you also said you wanted to have uh, an emotional connection. Can you talk a little about that and how that impacted how you developed this game? Uh, I think it's, it's a lot about striking the right note. Uh, it's just not trying to be like sentimental and mushy and all that stuff, but just kind of getting people in the right mindset. Uh, and just, you know, have everything from like music to the story to the environments, everything just like invoke that feel, like try to make it atmospheric, try to make it, you know, nice but not too sweet is kind of like what we're going for. There's a, there's a good word in, in Swedish called via mood, it's kind of like a, a beautiful melancholy, I guess, which is, I guess, sort of what we're going for. Can you talk a little about the story and, and from that standpoint? Uh, Yes and no. I, I kind of rather not because I, I, I think um, I think it's like I said. We want to strike the right note, but we kind of want to let you play the music instead. Um, what we do is like we we build this world and we fill it with details and we fill it with all these little you know these little things for you to find, so you can piece the story together if you want to and if you like to. So there's there's going to be a lot of stuff to discover, but we don't really believe in you know cramming down your throat. We we want to like uh, you know be subtle about it and, and just leave it in your hands instead. Because I, I usually find that those stories work best like when when it's up to me to to make it myself.